This is the Braden and Blitz, and you are looking at Jason Dill and David Wilson, and we're back at it, David. The last, pretty much all the shows here in the fall have been centered on high school football, but that's now come to a close with last week's state championship games coming to an end, and we did a little bit of a wrap-up with Braden River getting to the state semifinals. Their season's over, so let's spin it forward and talk about some of the winter sports that are happening uh, around high school athletics here in Manatee County. But we want to start with one of Manatee High's former players in football, Willie Taggart. He's the head coach at the University of South Florida, and he's facing his alma mater, Western Kentucky, where he also coached at, in the Miami Beach Bowl next Monday. Yeah, it's been a really impressive season for Willie, considering how things started. Uh, a lot of people had him on the hot seat entering the year. He kind of disappointed since coming over from Western Kentucky. They started off not so great, um, managed to turn it around. It's an early bowl game, but you know they've still finished in the AP poll. If you go by others receiving votes, you know just outside the top 25, I want to say like 28 or 29, somewhere in that range. Um, you know, the fact that they're able to just get into a bowl game and play an in-state bowl game is good for them too, considering the emphasis that Tagger puts on uh, Florida recruiting. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the well, they have he has a pretty special player in Marlon Mack, the Mack attack, mm -hmm. who also was kind of injured, but a uh, kid that is from Sarasota that played at Booker High School. Uh, also played at Sarasota High, but ended up at Booker High. And before he went off to USF, he was actually going to go out west. And Taggart and company recruited him to go play at USF. And he's been a, a pretty good offensive weapon. They changed, they got something happened to them early in the year mm -hmm. that their offense started clicking and they won seven of eight. And it's going to be a good little uh, Monday game for people here in Manatee County to watch one of their own. Uh, Willie Taggart, you know, head coach of the USF Bulls, which is the closest four-year school that has yep. a, a football team uh, playing in a bowl game against Western Kentucky. So we'll see how that goes. But let's get dive into some of the high school sports that are happening this winter. And let's begin with girls basketball because we have two teams that are ranked in the top 10 in their respective classifications. You have Lakewood Ranch, which is ranked third in the latest yep. 7A poll. And you have Southeast, which is a traditional power amongst Manatee County girls basketball teams. They're ranked seventh in the latest 5A pool, uh, poll, not pool, poll. What uh, what do you make of both of those clubs? Well, I got a chance to see Southeast uh, last week. It was actually one of their few losses this season. They lost to uh, St. Petersburg Lakewood. Uh, they were down big in that game, managed to cut it to five at the end before coming up a little short. Uh, it was a big district game for them, but you know, they get another shot at them in St. Petersburg. Uh, John Harder felt pretty good about where they were considering how much they were down. Uh, you mentioned Lakewood Ranch also. They have a big game coming up this Friday against Sefner Christian at home. Uh, both teams ranked in the top 11 in Max Prep's computer poll. Uh, Lakewood Ranch's two, only two losses this year are to the number one team in the state and the number 18 team in the state on that Max Prep's poll. This is a good chance for them to get a signature win against one of the other powers in the state. Sure. Let's spin it. Uh, get away from basketball. We'll talk about some of the stuff that happens outdoors. Soccer, boys soccer. Lakewood Ranch's boys soccer team is on a roll. They haven't lost since November 9th. They have a, a pretty eclectic mix of, of guys, and this is the first time head coach Vito, Vito Bavaro has said that he's had everybody slotted in early on in the right spots. And if you guys want to check out a story about Lakewood Ranch's boys soccer team, you can look in the Braden Herald later this week. I'll have that story for you. But yeah, it's just a, it's a team that got to a state semifinal two years ago. They've won three district championships in a row, and only two kids are from that state final four team, but... They're hungry, and that's what the expectation is. And when you haven't lost since November 9th yeah. and you're rolling, then it's a pretty good sign that this is a team that's kind of clicking at all cylinders. And, they, I mean, they have the depth, too. They have 18 kids that he says he can just cycle in whenever he wants and not feel there's a drop-off at mm -hmm. all. Yeah, and usually they like to, to get things straight around Thanksgiving, usually the Thanksgiving tournament. Still kind of – they didn't have a tournament this year, but still kind of synced up around that time. Right before the break, uh, they blew a two-goal lead to Manatee and settled for a draw. It was one of their only slip-ups in district play. Well, then Monday night they beat them 6 nothing. Right, and they're going to be the number one seed in the district. They've got they, have one, they have it locked up. They have one game left against Riverview on Thursday. So no matter what happens, they'll still hold on to that. But, of course, they want to make a statement every time they go out. So you expect nothing less. And uh, this is going to be the last blitz for uh, the new year, or for the end of the year, I should say. Mm -hmm. We'll have to come back. We're going on a little bit of a hiatus. You'll catch us uh, back in January. We'll be back. It's David Wilson. It's Jason Dill. And if you guys need to check out anything, go to Varsity 24-7. That's our sports app. You can find it on the Google Play Store for Android users, the iTunes Store for iPhone users. Makes sense, right? Yep. Uh, again, it's Varsity 24-7. If you uh, don't have your mobile devices out and you want to pick up a raw copy of the Braden Herald, 
please do that as well, or find us on the web at www.bradenton.com backslash sports. That's where all the information you need to know about uh, sports here in Manzi County and beyond are happening. And until next time, which I guess will be in January in 2016, this is Jason Dill for David Wilson, and we'll catch you on the flip side.